Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Nike Air Max Scorpion with the wolf gray colorway. Let's go ahead and talk about it. The Nike Air Max Scorpion is a byproduct of the Nike Vapor Max. The shoe was created during the pandemic of 2020 with a condensed timeline of 18 months. Nike scientists, engineers, and designers worked on the shoe virtually. Air Max Scorpion offers the most air as it relates to PSI, pounds per square inch. The shoe is 20% recycled content by weight. All right, let's go ahead and break down the Air Max Scorpion Wolf Gray colorway. I want to orientate you directly to the heel tab. As you can see here, Nike is in Braille. Look at that, embedded right on the heel tab vertically. Now, horizontally, there's Braille writing, as you can see, Air Max right on there. Man, attention to detail. Now, let's go and orientate you to the different materials on the shoe. As you can see here at the top right here on this upper and also on the tongue and down to the tongue throat, some material called Chanel. Now, feeling it and wearing it, it feels like almost like a velvet suede. Feels like almost like a washcloth bath tile, if you will. Soft material. As we traverse down here, this dark gray, that's what you call the fly knit material. Now you can tell the difference between these two materials. The fly knit, in my opinion, is a little more restrictive than the Chanel because most of your foot is down here on the fly knit. Now, look at the Nike swoosh. Look at these colors that's embedded in the Nike swoosh. You have the blue. Looks like a purple a little bit, but it's blue with the neon green, and they just intersect, intertwine each other. Attention to detail, man. Look at the back of the heel tab again. Look at that stitching in the back. Traverse this shoe over, Air Max embedded in Braille right at the bottom. Now you look at these Air Max bubbles, right? Air Max bubbles on steroids. Now the shoe is called Air Max Scorpion. So what do you think these are? As you can see here on the picture, the Air Max Scorpion bubbles. Nike, again, attention to detail. Now. I gotta provide Nike a couple no-goes. In this area right here, this area, when you're wearing this shoe, it feels tight along this area right here, right along the ankle. This material, even though it's Chanel and it's soft at the tongue, soft right here, this part right here, if you're wearing this sneaker, ladies and gentlemen, without any socks, you will feel this. And it doesn't hurt like someone's hitting you, hitting your ankle with a daggone hammer, but it's not the most comfortable feel. My recommendation, hey, if you're gonna have the Chanel fabric on the uppers and the tongue, why don't you embed it right here as well? So I'm gonna have to give Nike a no-go on that one. Now, when you look at the back inside the shoe, I don't know if you can see it, ladies and gentlemen, but there's padding inside here. Attention to detail, because that protects your Achilles tendon for the ladies and gentlemen, for you guys that wanna run and whatnot, perform any athletic activities with this sneaker. Let's go and traverse down, see the Nike logo right here, right near the toe box, the fly knit toe box. As I move this shoe around, I look at it vertically, horizontally. Tell me your thoughts on the Nike Air Max Scorpion. Is it an ugly sneaker? Would you consider purchasing this sneaker to uh, rock on the regular, to wear around? I've worn this shoe a couple of times and I tell you, my only issue with this shoe Wearing, you have to wear a thin sock with this shoe. You can't wear a traditional thick Nike sock with this shoe. Also, you can wear no socks with it at all. I want to give a shout out to one of my YouTube subscribers. In the comments, they noted, hey, just go a half size bigger. Now, I wear a 10. I believe if I went to a 10 and a half, the shoe probably will feel better. It's not a, the shoe doesn't provide any discomfort. Again, my only no-go is this area right here. I wish the Chanel fabric was on top of this, this bridge, if you will. Let's go and traverse again to the back, Nike logo on the back. This is a phenomenal sneaker. As we go down to the throat here, look at the eyelets. Speed lacing. I like that. I like that. My only issue is, my only issue is during the time you wear this shoe, you're running around in the shoe, will the speed lacing come apart? Will it become detached from the Chanel fabric? That's something we have to see moving forward. 
again, I only have one no-go on this sneaker. I already pointed that out a couple times. Again, I want to talk about this material right here. I left that out. It's almost like a stiff rubbery material that's under the fly knit that supports the fly knit. And when you're looking at this sneaker, look at it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It's almost like it's cascading into different materials. As you can see, the Chanel cascades on the fly knit. The fly knit cascades on this material right here. It's almost like a stiff rubbery, if you will. Again, got the little Nike peeps, peep holes in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, in the comments, let me know. Is this a shoe that you will want to purchase just for rocking on a regular? Is this a sneaker that you will want to purchase to wear marathon, uh, just running daily, running daily physical activities? Let me know in the comments. Because for me, I definitely wouldn't run in this shoe. Um, but just rocking on a regular summertime, hanging out, no show socks, maybe some low, low cut socks, uh, thin socks. I definitely wouldn't recommend your regular Nike socks to go along with this or any sock that you choose. All right. The Nike Air Max Scorpion Wolf Gray colorway. Now, the thing about this shoe, it's a nice looking shoe, but Nike is going to hit you over the head when it comes to money. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nike Air Max Scorpion Wolf Gray colorway, along with other Air Max Scorpions will run you about $250, as you can see here with the different colorways. All in all, the Nike Air Max Scorpion is a wonderful looking shoe. It's a nice looking shoe. It's visually pleasing to the eyes. I know a lot of people may say, hey, that's too much air bubbles at the bottom. Uh, you definitely feel the air bubbles. You definitely feel the comfort level. Uh, all in all, again, I would give this shoe, I would rank it a seven out of 10. A nice sneaker, nice colorway. They all the colorways look great to me. So the Nike Air Max Scorpion Wolf Gray colorway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Nomad Cast, where story time is a pastime. We talked about the Nike Air Max Scorpion Wolf Gray colorway. If you found value in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this content. Until we meet again, until the next time, until the next episode, the Nomad Cast, because story time is a pastime. The Nike Scorpions, the Scorpion.